Well, Jenny, thank you so much for, for agreeing to speak with us. We're delighted really to include your piece in this concert. It's such a wonderful uh, sort of cornerstone for the whole issue of intolerance and bullying. And What's interesting about the story itself that uh, I've learned from many people who have heard this piece or have read the book or have seen the movie that came out last fall with Sigourney Weaver for Hallmark, there's something there that they can relate to, whether it's the religious part, whether it's the coming out part, um, whether they've known someone, sadly enough, who was not able to get good counseling, whether it be the parents or the uh, um, child or adult. And uh, I, I think that was the piece immediately that hit me. The, the, the significance today Sadly, I learned when this young man from Rutgers, which is just right up the street from where I teach, committed suicide this past autumn, I don't recall which month it was, from bullying. Um, in 1995 and 96, when we worked on this piece, um, the percentage of uh, teenage suicides was about, they approximated one third uh, had to do with sexual orientation. Well, sadly enough, I learned this year, after this young man um, took his own life, that even after all the years of uh, Will and Grace and uh, Ellen DeGeneres and very out movies, one, um, what's the movie tonight, All About Us, that's up for an Oscar, um, that the number is actually the same of uh, teenage suicides, speaking of between the age of actually 15 to 25 range, is still, this many years later, still one third yeah. um, due to sexual orientation. And this is years since um, having the high schools having the gay straight alliances and colleges having them also. And when you when you've premiered this piece and, and now you've had a number of audiences that have experienced it, and, and I, I assume you've been present for some of those. What has been the feedback? What has been the impact? And has it been what you what you hoped or expected? Well, it's been overwhelming, actually. You know, some people say, "Aren't you preaching to the choir?" Which is, I guess, an amusing line to say. Ha ha. Um, well, if the audience is all gay and out men, lesbians, or, I'm not even sure if it's them because if they help change one person's life or able to counsel one person. However, if, even if there's one family, uh, I have many stories to tell on this kind of thing, but uh, even if a family is there or one person is in doubt of themselves and they learn something or they say, I've got to read this book, or, I've got to get in touch with the local now GLSEN, or um, at, at the time there were different groups, called, you know, the, the PFLAG group, which still mm -hmm. exists, as opposed to some of them that have changed names since then. And in my religion, we're taught that if we save one person's life, it is as if we have saved an entire world.